2,359, 2,360. Woo! That's right, guys. I just did the math. I did 2,360 burpees over the last 28 days. But the question is, did I waste my time as a runner doing them? Did it make me better at all? That's what this, that's what this video is gonna be about. Uh, we're also gonna celebrate all of you guys who did the burpee challenge with a little burpee compilation video. Let's get into it. So I thought it super fitting to end our burpee challenge with a discussion on whether or not there's a point to burpees in the first place. Did we waste our time for 28 days? What did we really do? And this was somewhat brought up to get me thinking about this uh, somewhat in jest from an article I saw online that basically was titled, Are Burpees a Waste of Time? And the, the central crux of the article was, you know, for exercises that are supposed to be high intensity and that raise your heart rate, uh, there might be better exercises you can do, and not everyone does burpees very well, so you know you could do something else that's maybe a little bit safer and a little bit easier. But when I read that, I was like, aha, that is exactly the point of this, because we're not doing burpees to raise your heart rate. There's plenty of things we can do for that. We're trying to do something that makes us a better moving athlete and a better runner, and we use the burpee over 28 days to really break down your mechanics into all of their requisite parts, to pull out the strands and areas that you struggle with, and to give you very specific, tangible things to improve upon. For example, in that first week, we talked about doing burpees with your heels and big toes together, because if you can't do that, that tells us something about your range of motion, your hips and your ankles, and if you don't have that range, that's going to affect you as a runner. And another week we talked about your ability to do this with your midline really connected, your ability to extend and arch through that back, to keep your belly and your butt squeezed, to move in a complex way while fatigued, because guess what? Running is the very same thing. It's a very complex movement that requires a lot of strength and coordination and motor control, all while under fatigue conditions. So just by looking at the burpee, not as a high intensity interval exercise, but as a, uh, as a little like view into how I move as an athlete, it becomes this very, very powerful tool. And that's exactly what we did over the last 28 days. So were the burpees a waste of time? Absolutely not, especially when we did it with so much thought and intention. So we put out the call for your burpee videos and you guys answered with them. And uh, we wanna show you some of the goes. Thank you for all of you brave, burpee challengers who shared your burpees with us today. I know for myself, some of my more memorable burpees in this month of January were finding dry spots in different gas stations in Tahoe and Northern California as I drove out to Mammoth Lakes, California on a filming project. Nothing like doing burpees in 15 degree weather uh, with people looking at you all strange and funny. And uh, just trying to find those burpees uh, in on the weekend 
Watching football and playoff games, I found that I could do 30 burpees in a commercial break. That's how long commercial breaks are these days. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for sharing your burpees with us and really participating in something that's making you a better, stronger runner. Don't forget this burpee challenge is always there. It's in your hip pocket if you wanna come back and revisit it. Maybe you start with a little bit higher number and uh, maybe we see where that takes us. Are burpees a waste of time? I thought that was such a great way to go. Um, Holly, this is gonna be another one of those videos where I'm just gonna be doing multiple clips. In this clip, that's just gonna show you what everyone does. Uh, does, does, does. Oh my God. Hey, thanks again for jumping in this challenge and uh, doing something on a daily basis that committed you to being a better mover and working on your mobility and really becoming a better runner. That's really what this was all about. Of course, if you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up down below. Uh, any requests for future challenges, let us know. Drop that in the comment section. Of course, subscribe to our channel, guys. We got new videos coming out each and every week. We want you to see them. I'm glad I'm not doing any more burpees for a little while. I don't know about you. I'll, guys, I'll see you in the next video.